You know, uh, when I was training for it, I, I assumed my opponent was going to try to take me down. Uh, I assumed he was going to, you know, either try to take me down right away from the start or he was going to try to bum rush me like he did. And, you know, as soon as the first clinch ended and I kind of composed myself and I felt like I, ha I got control of it, then after that I started finding my rhythm, I started being myself again. And that's when the after that head kick, boom, he threw the jab. I saw the jab come. I kind of slipped. It was like a little bit of a draw step and that spin back elbow happened. And, that's all she wrote. I believe that's my seventh finish via spinning back elbow like that. Uh, a lot of my fights before that were Muay Thai, but yeah, I, it's I. After my last fight, you know, we just we just went back to training, and there's a lot of things that I was trying to do that I was trying to change, and they weren't really working out for me. And uh, we just went back to being myself again, and that's something that we did a lot in this camp. It was a little bit of a shortened camp with uh, for me, but it was good because I was I had a lot of fun with it. I started being myself again, and. Um, you saw you saw tonight a great finish. Uh, sports Center top ten, yeah, man. I mean, uh, it, it was amazing. I, I I'm still you know kind of overwhelmed by all the love from all the fans, my family, my team, my teammate, all my sponsors. Uh, I'm really thankful for this, and I'm, I feel really truly blessed. I'm fighting again in two weeks, fighting for a Muay Thai world title in two weeks. So I'm really thankful that uh, thank thank you God for for being able to walk away from this uh, without any injuries. So. Yeah, is that a worry for you when you when you book two fights that close together? I mean, what if something would have gone awry here? You know, big gamble. You know, you know, you big risk, big reward. You know, here we go. Let's go for the second one. Is that your plan to to bounce back between the two? Well, you know, Muay Thai is my first love. Uh, obviously, we belt or kickboxing. I'm I'm being able to bounce back between kickboxing and MMA. But yeah, that's something that I would I like to continue to keep doing before uh, making MMA my only focus. Uh, but yeah, I, I love being able that Bellator is allowing me to go back and forth between kickboxing and MMA, and then also allowing me to pick up pick some Muay Thai fights in between there. Yeah, uh, definitely something that I, I'm interested in keep doing. It, yeah. Uh, before yeah, in my amateur days and my early pro days, yeah, I had a lot of fights back to back like that. But I mean, I I love it, man. I this is this is my dream. I'm living it and I'm enjoying every minute of it. Uh, Whatever fight I can take, M MMA, kickboxer, and Muay Thai, I'm like, keep doing it. I keep fun, having fun. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm living the dream, man.